<laughs> okay, here we go. Everybody ready? Because this is what everybody hates about fractions. And I'm really excited about to tell you this, guys, because um, hopefully if I can get you over this hump, really, guys, fractions is not going to be that bad. So what would I have is I want to add one half plus one third. So we got to make sure first we make sure that we separate our two bars into equal parts. So my one half is divided into two different sections, and I'm going to select one of them. My one third is separated into three different parts, hence by the denominator being three. And again, I'm going to select one part over there. Now remember, when we are adding fractions, all we're simply doing was we were taking this part and kind of adding it to this part. Well, the problem it was easy when they're they're the same um, broken up into the same parts, right? If I was going to add one third plus one third, that would equal obviously two thirds. But you can notice that one third and one half are not the same size. So if I'm going to add this on top, what I'm going to get is I'm going to get here, I'm going to get an answer that's going to be all the way up there. Now the problem is, I don't know how much that is. It's greater than two thirds, and I don't really have a way to add it to one half to get what this size is. So what I need to do is I need to find a way that I can break apart my one half and my one third equal for both of them. So what I really mean is, if you guys notice, this bar is broken up into halves. This bar is broken up into thirds. Well, what I need to do is I need to break both of these up into the same um, equally. I need to break both breaking them up equally. So to do that, what we need to do is find the common denominator. So I need to figure out what, two num what number that 2 and 3 both evenly go into. And I want to find the smallest number. It's going to make my answer go by a lot easier. So what I'm going to do to find the smallest number is I need to list the multiples. So by listing the multiple as a 2, I get 2, 4, 6, 8, and I'll stop right there. Then by listing the multiples of 3, I get 3, 6, 9, and I notice now that 6 is their common multiple. So what I need to do is I need to get both of these denominators to be 6. Because once I get them both to be 6, I will now have common denominators and I can add my fractions. So to get 2 to be a 6, I'll have to add a 3, and to get a 3 to be a 6, I'll have to add a 2. Now you're going to want to make sure you watch my equivalent fractions uh, video for you to understand that whenever you multiply a fraction to keep it equivalent, you have to multiply the numerator, you have to multiply the same number on the top and the bottom. So therefore by adding 3 times 1, I'll get 3, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 2 times 1 is 2, over 3 times 2 is 6. Now you guys can see that I have the same denominator and I can equally add the numerator which will give me 5, 6. So therefore I'm going to break apart my fraction into six equal parts and you'll notice I will have five equal parts and there we go.